In this video, I will show you how I edit Taylor Cut Films' photo and make it look like this. Alright, this is the RAW photo I got. I opened this up in Photoshop and got it into Camera RAW. As you can see, it's really dark, this photo, so it's a little bit challenging, but I'm gonna make something with it. And you can see here, we can do some changes to the lighting here so we can at least get some more light here because it's really dark photo it's really difficult to create something cool with this but we will create something with this i'm sure so i'm doing some editing changes here to the lighting and clarity let's see i think this is fine just gonna drop the highlight so it so he's better visible here then background so I get rid of all these highlights here all right this is okay now I can open this image I have this file size is like Instagram file size so I want to make sure this fits for an Instagram image let's just drag this here and convert to smart object so that way we don't ruin this quality when we resize it now first thing I want to make sure that he stays in between these these guidelines I have here. I also want to make sure this horizon is going straight and not like going a little bit up or something. So first I'm gonna position this as I want it. I think this is this is fine. And wanna make sure he is standing in the center of this image. All right, I found this image of a wheel. I'm going to get rid of the background here. So for this one, I could use the quick selection tool. This tool, the quick selection tool isn't so precise, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to use this in the background and you won't see it much. So this is okay. Make a mask of it and that's it for now. Now we have to make sure this color from this water from the wheel is the same as the background so I'm gonna create a color balance layer here it's like this so we only affect the layer of the wheel and I need to make the water look the same so I'm guessing a little bit more red to it because we have this red sunset here and some yellowish now I'm gonna make you saturation layer to get rid of some of these colors like that and what we can do now is to add some splashes to this. I found this this splash PNG file, which I'm going to use. So I'm just going to put this there. Let's make a smart object and make sure we have some splashes going on there. What I have to do now is to add some Gaussian blur to this. To make sure this is blurred out at the same amount as this background. I think this looks fine. Let's add some levels to this so we get the contrast right. Make this, make sure to press this so I only affect the layer of this wheel. And now we can try to make this blend better. So let's make this slightly lighter. And as you can see, this these places are really white here, so I want to make sure these are darker. Just a little bit darker, like that. All right, now I can move this around to see where I want to put this. All right, I moved this wheel to the left side. I think it looks better on this side. So we have some balance between this sun here and this, this wheel here. As you can see, this wheel is too, too black. So what I'm going to do here is add some exposure to this. Make sure to press this. And let's drop the highlights here so this blends better together looks more real so that's fine for this wheel now i added this moon in the background it's just a photo of a moon change the blend mode to screen that's it now we can set the mood of this image what i'm going to do here is create a solid color layer here change this color to it's maybe something blue change the blend mode to soft light and drop this say around 36 
now we can find the color that fits this image so this really depends on what you want to do with this photo you can make it more red but i think i like it a little bit more blue because we have like this ocean going on so i want to make sure we have some blue tones here so just play around with these sliders until you get something that you like you don't want to do too much just slightly some color adjustments here maybe this is too dark so i'm gonna move it up like this let's do some color balance here also let's do mid-tones first if you get a little bit of that red back and drop some blue so it won't be too blue let's also do the highlights like that let's do some curves here gonna bring this up so this is all lighter and this slightly to the left I'm gonna make like this S curve here I just made a little shadow here of this wheel and what I'm going to do now is add some curves to this wheel because we have sunset on this side so I want to make sure some areas are lighter so first I'm gonna make this all lighter then I'm gonna press ctrl command I on the mask and with a black brush I can with a white brush, I mean I can make these areas lighter because we have sun there, so I want to make sure some areas are lighting up. So this side needs to be light. Make sure this side here to make this blend better together. Like the top side, like that, and maybe a little bit more this here. Don't want to do it too much because it's going to be too light and it's still like sunset in not so much light is going on let's drop this so that looks better maybe for more all right now i can make this photo better so let's make this a smart object and here I'm also gonna do some curves to lighten up some areas. So first I'm gonna increase the mid-tones here. The photo is too dark now, so I wanna make it lighter. Let's make the dark area slightly darker. So we have a nice contrast here between the background and this photo. Something like this. Can also try some light effects here i'm gonna sample some color here make it like yellow orange bring up the opacity and just make a little dot change blend mode let's say overlay and now we can make some sunset lighting some more colors from that sun All right, let's do some gradient here. So we can get all this focus on the center of this image. And the edges I'm gonna make something like dark brown. Let's just copy this one and put it here. Make sure it's at the edge. Let's increase this. Change the blend mode here to either off lay or soft light, whatever works best. I think soft light is all right. Let's drop this. Let's duplicate this one. Get some more colors in the background here. Can even do color here. I save this edit as a PNG file and open this up in Lightroom and here I can make some magic happen. So if you want to get these presets, you can check the link in the description. As you can see when I apply one of these presets, the whole image changes.
So I'm gonna use one or maybe a couple of these presets to get some nice mood in this image. As you can see, they all look pretty cool. So I'm gonna use this one as always, just slightly do some changes here. Let's make sure the lighting is there, stretched out. This is way too much, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some of these these designs with these presets, and after that I'm just gonna open them up in Photoshop again, so I can adjust everything again. So I wanna make sure lighting is there. Let's save this one. So I'm just exporting this as a new file. Next, I wanna do another preset. This one also looks pretty nice. Make sure the lighting is there and let's make sure we have some lighting in the background here. This one is also fine. I'm gonna export this. Export. I wanna make sure I use unique names so they don't overwrite each other. And let's do one more. Let's see. I think these colors are also pretty cool. Or this one. Let's do this one. This one is a bit darker. But I really like this color here. So I'm going to stretch it out. Dead. Alright, let's save this one also and go back into Photoshop with these three images all right I got this was the original photo from Photoshop I got this one exported this one and this one so they are all pretty cool but they are a little bit too much so what I'm gonna do is put them all above the layers so oh, I have three extra layers now from these presets all right this one first let's drop drop the pasty here because this is way too much it's too dark let's also use this one get more red in it maybe not so much that one it's too dark and this one is also a little bit dark so maybe if I change this one to color can get some nice colors there this is really personal preference. If you like it more red, you can increase this. If you like it more yellow, you can use more of the other layer. So the only thing I have to do here is just to play around with the settings. I think this looks pretty cool. After that, I will create the curves layer to get this lighting more popping out. So like that and to make the black areas even darker. Let's make it like that. Let's also do the curves colors here. Let's see, maybe a little bit more red. You can adjust the green here to show in some green. Let's check the blue one. Now let's make this also slightly lighter. All right, so this is maybe a little bit less of this. This one is pretty cool, the first one, so I want to make sure I have some more of that one. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's how you edit photo to make it look like this.